Welcome back guys, this is Vipin with Gemini. Today we got another product to do a review on. Um, I got this for a friend. Um, obviously she just started. Um, so, let's get to it. Okay, so we got a e-leaf. Um, it's tiny. It's portable. <laughs> just joking. Um, but it's a e-leaf eye stick pickup. It's really cute and you know she's a small girl so um i figured you know hey since i got it for her you know i don't think she would mind if i did a review on it um it's not mine but we're gonna do a review on it we're gonna vape it and do the close-ups okay I stick pico okay um, it's a nice box okay in the back it tells you what's it about the I stick just like its name keep a uh, reach of children you get a thin care scratch ticket here full kit comes with I stick without cell which is the battery and I've got my own so we can you know power it up and everything um, mellow 3 mini Optimizer, uh, one uh, EC uh, 0.3 ohm head coil, 0.5 head ohm coil, foil seal, O-rings, USB cable, and user manual. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig in. <clears throat> Put that on the side. Okay, here well here it is. It's pretty decent size. It's not small as the Mini Volt or the Nugget. But uh, it may be a little, well, yeah, just a little, a little bigger than that. But it's perfect for me. I mean, shit. Let I me mean, look at my hand. And you take it out and put it in your hand. It's pretty small for me. So, all right, let's put this on the side. Go on the side and get in the bottom. Comes with an extra coil head. This is probably the one is 0.5. Uh, the point three, it's already in the tank. Here's some spare oil rings, uh, matching oil rings as well. And that's it. Just some oil rings and an extra coil head. I'm gonna get the damn thing to focus. Come on, man. I've been dealing with this camera every time I do review. And this is the only camera I got. So we got some spare oil rings and this coil head. Nothing else. Okay. Put that on the side. That's your USB cable. Um, uh, from what I read, you can charge it through your mod without taking out the battery. So, so that's a good, that's a plus. And you got your instruction manual. Tells you how to top fill. Okay. It's a decent sized book too. I and mean, like my mod file that I just showed you. you Yesterday that you know, little some about this one actually has that another user manual This is for the tank and this is for the mod itself Simple okay, anyhow, let's get to it this is back And to back to the mod And to the tank Put that aside. Okay, so first things first the, the mod itself Come on, man. Focus, dude. Shit. Alright. God damn it. And now I already have that zoom all the way out, too. Yeah, that's how far I can zoom out. Anyhow, this is the iStick Pro. Uh, Pico. Uh, Pico. Come on, focus, dude. 
there you go, as thick pico. And this is what a top looks like. It's rounded, it's your screen, your USB port, your firing button in the bottom. You get your negative, positive, vent holes, and put your, put your battery. You can check this inside. Well, it's kind of dark. Okay, so since the vent holes are at the bottom, I'm gonna put the top of the battery face down. So let me put it on. And it's on, just like that. It's at 74.8 watts right now. Um, zero ohms, shows a full battery. Okay, so that's ready to go. Put that on the side. <clears throat> now we get to the tank. Ah, uh, it's a good, decent sized drip tip. Well, well, not drip tip, but tip tip. 510 tip, I believe. Is that 510? Yeah, it's a 510. Okay, so I'll put that on the side. Go to the top. Okay, well, those rubber big rubber seal here, and bottom. Okay, this one shows looks like it shows airflow, adjustable airflow right here. Hmm, that's pretty slick, but Okay, here he goes. So this tank here, they don't give you a spare tank of glass. Um, that's what I've most seen. Um, if you break this glass, you're fucked. Okay, I, I can tell you right now, there's no spare glass in the kit. So be careful if you decide to get one of these. And this is, well, well, yeah, it's decent made, but uh, the inside, like the chimney shaft and all that, it's molded on the glass. I can tell you that. Okay, you get your juice holes right there on both sides, pretty big ones, not bad. You put them aside, this is your coil head. And I believe this one's at 0.3, I can see right here, 30 to 80, 80 watts. Okay, it's your coil head. Then your 510 pin. On the deck, that's what the top looks like. Okay, and it's barely, barely protruding, protruding, sticking out a little bit. Okay, barely. Um, not adjustable either. I would not use this on a regulator mod. It has to be a regulator mod, not un unregulated. So it's okay if you're on, on if you're on a regulator mod. Let's put that back in. Okay. <clears throat> Top part. Now we need to top open. And then sure top part. It's not a bad piece. Okay. So I'm gonna screw this on. When we're tightening it, and for this particular, I'm going to use some. Oh shit! I want to use some juicy ohms, juicy ohms yogurt flavored. I only put a little bit. I'm not gonna put a lot in this one. Oh, the capacity, the capacity of this tank. It's only two mils, so keep that in mind. I don't think I put a whole lot, I'm gonna put a little bit to it. Yeah, that's enough. I'm gonna put a little bit, and then do a full time on it. Anyhow. Put the top back on. Okay. 
might be any excess off juice that if it is did pour out. Let's get the top back on. Okay, you trip tip on. And we're set. Let's go out to FaceTime and vape on it and see how it goes. All right, we're back on the FaceTime and um, want to vape on it and talk a little about it. Um, let me grab this piece here. Okay. Let me hit my mod, my mod. All right, <clears throat> back to this mod. Um, okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go down to say 40 watts. Um, Okay, apparently if you push these two buttons here on the bottom, it locks it, unlocks it, uh, up and down your wattage. Um, let's see if I can get to the main menu. No, I'm going to have to read more to it. Yeah, on the main menu, I don't know. Know how to get in. Okay, if you push them together, it locks it. You do it again, it turns off the mod. So now I'll turn it back on. Now it's unlocked. Um, menu wise, I'm trying to give you guys a good review on it. I'm going to have to read the instruction manual. There's menu to it. Um, but I do know that uh, from what I read, you can. Does temper control? <coughs> Excuse me. It does uh, TC, NI, TC, and titanium. So you can use um, NIC, temper control, titanium, temper control, and stainless steel, temper control. Okay, modes. So it does have that here. Um, this is not my mod. I don't want to break or anything like that, but I know there's a menu in there. I just have to read it up. Um, when it came, when you know, when it came, the only thing I did is rip up the paper out, and I just decided to do a review on it for you guys. That way, if you guys decide, you know, put it out there, see if you guys like the video, and then you guys want to buy um, some, this mod, and you know, help you guys out. Okay, so I'll put a little bit of juice in there, just a little bit, but a couple cylinders, because uh, you know, this is not my mod. Obviously, I'm gonna clean it up with this. But uh, this mod here was. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. Thirty-seven ninety-nine on one one vape. So <clears throat> let's open the airflow. See how it vapes. Hmm. Not bad. It's a good starter. It is. It's a good starter. Yeah, if I close it, counterclockwise it, it's gonna um, tighten up the airflow. I'm more of a white board person, so I have a max flow. I'm at 40.5 watts. Like I said, I'm just doing it small. And it's showing at 0.3 ohms, 3.43 uh, volts. So, full battery. Let's go and take another tub. So how it vapes? Vapes good. Uh, the flavor is there. <clears throat> uh, 
it's compact. I mean, you can tell, you know, I can even hide this in my hand. Um, it does push its power for sure. Let's crank it up a little bit. Oh, okay, it goes really fast. You can hold that sucker down. Let's do it at 60, see what happens. 60. It produced more clouds, but it's getting hot real fast. I can tell you that. Okay. So I don't even, you know, it goes go higher than 60, but I want to 60 just to test it. More pleasant vape is probably like around 45, 40. So you know, talk at 45 watts. Not bad. Good clouds. The flavor is there. It's good. It's compact. Uh, cons. Um, you have to buy more coils on this. Okay. And from what I heard, you can buy either the E Leaf or you can buy the Atlantis coil that's pre made. And it comes in packs of five, like 50 bucks, 20 bucks, something around there. Me, I like to build. My rebuild my own decks and save money that way. You you save a lot of money if you rebuild your own decks, and it doesn't cost much for the materials for it. And I, I'm willing to do a labor for it. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> uh, that's the con I see. Um, even though I also have max airflow, um, I do. I'm a big guy. I do have big lungs, so it takes me a little bit more than hell. But it's still more of a tight draw to me when I hit on this mod um, it is a single 18650 battery okay not bad pretty impressive for one battery I can produce that it's not bad um, it is a starter kit um, colors great hot pink um, decent kind of heavy you know it's like putting okay it's half of his weight I got four batteries on my hammer of God. Yeah, it is unregulated, running serious, and it's heavy. Okay, it's probably like probably either half or a quarter of this weight onto this. Okay, um, batteries easy to get in and out. If it has vent holes, uh, have modes, uh, uh, nick uh, and titanium and stainless steel. If you decide to vape those kind of coils. Um, 510, uh, the, the, the drip, uh, the tip, it's not bad either. Uh, another con, the glass. If it breaks, you're done for. Um, you get lucky if you can find another glass tank or call the manufacturer or whoever has this tank as a spare tank and um, switch out for you. Because when I took it apart, there's no way you can take this glass off as far as I know. Because when I looked at it, it looked like it's one solid piece. I could be wrong. But, you know, this is the first time looking at it. Um, nice big screen, has a USB port, probably for, uh, most definitely for uh, update software and charging. And from what I did on uh, 101 Vape on the reviews, they can charge your battery through your USB port. Fire button is pretty catchy. Um, this part here, on this part here alone, it reminds me of the Noisy Cricket. Okay, the noisy cricket is a little taller, a little mosquito. Uh, well, hit the back. Yeah, about the same feel. It's about the same. Uh, but the noisy cricket is taller, and this reminds me of the noisy cricket. <laughs> Pushing you here on the side. But the fire buttons over here, and that's your battery cap. So, then take another tote. Yeah, it's pretty still a tight draw for me. For sure, for sure. Okay, so <clears throat> this go that's it's it is what it is. It's not bad starter kit. Uh, to have it, you know, like this, I can't carry it everywhere. It's pretty bulky. It will last me over a day, but it's big and bulky. Okay, and 
it hits really hard. It's just big and bulky for me to carry around every day. I want to carry this around every day. Now you can carry around every day. It's small, it's compact, pocket friendly. You can lock it, unlock it. Um, make sure you lock it that way it doesn't fire. Unlock it if you want to use it. Uh, menus, I haven't got around that yet, but I know there's a menu in there. Um, glass. That's the other thing, that's a couple cons is glass. If it breaks, you're done for. You have to get in the replacement glass. Coils is not rebuildable. You have to buy their pre made coils. Okay. Um, they come in packs of four or five, either it's 15 to 20 to 25 bucks. It depends on which coil heads can fit in that. Um, the E Leaf, the Aspire coils fit those tanks. And it's a two mil. So I'm also thinking that you have to refill this a lot, okay, a lot. Uh, based on the battery, for one battery, I might be, uh, from what I read the reviews, people say that it lasts them almost a, a, a little over a half a day or maybe a full day. Depends on the vapor person itself, that if you vape a lot, 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 that battery won't last you. Like if it was for me. I'm going to have to carry a spare battery, but people that, you know, doesn't vape as much, but still want to vape and carry a bottle of juice, yeah, it'll probably last them the whole entire day, especially, you know, a person that's new to vaping and doesn't smoke as much as before and, you know, so if they don't smoke as much, they don't vape as much, so if, how much nicotine they didn't want, but other than that, that's the only cause I see, you have to buy pre-made coils, it's not a rebuildable deck. It's the glass, <clears throat> you have to be very careful that they don't give you a spare glass. Um, <clears throat> airflow is really tight, even though I had a full glass open. Um, they do have a uh, 510 uh, drip tip, so it's not bad. Um, so that's another pro for that. I only see four cons, okay? Glass, pre-made coils, tight draw. Uh, Glass, coil heads, tight draw, and what was the fourth thing? Damn, I forgot right. What the hell's wrong with me? Fuck me. Um, I guess there's only three things in there. Shit. What the hell? Yeah, tight draw. If you don't mind a tight draw, so that's comp it's a comp for me because I like more airflow. Glass. Breaks, you get to replace it. There's no spare, a spare, a spare glass for you to replace it with. Uh, coil heads, you have to buy pre made coil, coil heads every time when it goes out. And come on, I, don't know. I had it in my head. I don't, I don't know what the hell's. Hmm. Oh, it's a two mil. It's two mil capacity. Okay. It, it's real tiny, okay, but that's what you expect from a compact, okay. Um, other than that, it's for for a person just to start, it's a really good kit. But I'm more of a dancing user. I hit hard. I throw hard. It's it's. I'm a big man. Look at my mod, shit. You know. So this is little to me, but for a person that's new, yeah. If I was brand new to vaping, uh, budget on my cash, and try to save money, and I want to vape, and I want small, I won't vape as much, yeah. If I had the money to buy it, if I was in that situation, yeah, I would buy it. It's, a not, it's not a bad mod, it's actually a good mod uh, for a compact, man. It's not, you know, it's good, you know. But me, I've been vaping for over two years, so, I'm a hard hitter, okay, so, but, it chugs, man, it really chugs, this is actually better, back in my day, when I first started vaping, man, little pins, man, this, this beats it, by a long, way, way long shot. A lot better than before. Before, man, the technology wasn't there yet. You know, those big pins and all that. Man, it was like, it was garbage. You know, garbage. So that's what I'm saying. 
and all of those vapors are shit. But that's why I started with this one here is a starter kit because with all of this, you can't beat it, okay? So that's a that's a big big pro right there. Um, other than that, $37.99 for it. It's compact, it holds two milliliters juice, one single uh, 18650 battery. You can charge it through your mod to charge the battery. You can, uh, you have to buy pre-made coils, okay? If you wanna keep on vaping. You can buy um, use different drip tips on it, that's for sure. Um, and it comes with everything you need except for a spare glass, okay? Um, yeah, it's a good mod. Okay, so that's my that's my that's my uh, two cents in it, and yeah, I give it a thumbs up plus. Other than the other cons, the three four cons that I mentioned. So. That's my uh, review. I hope you guys liked it. I hope they helped out for the new people that decided to pick up this um, this mod. This this actually starter kit mod is really good. Um, so I'll throw down a couple of links where you can find one if you decide to uh, find one. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe and spread the word. Um, I'm trying to do some more reviews. Um, I mentioned on my uh, last re uh, review that I did a mod father. I kind of screwed up on that one a little bit, but the information was right. Um, I did. I wanted to fuse captain, but I tried to think of it that I don't have a regulated mod. Um, uh, doing a fuse captain was not a good thing because the thing is the deck is big, but not enough for you to put your wraps, a lot of wraps on it. I don't have a regular mod, so instead of doing a 20 gauge captain, uh, I, I did a 24 gauge captain instead. <clears throat> um, but it works. I love that RTA. But uh, this video is mainly about this mod, this particular review. So let's give you guys a thumbs up. But I uh, hope you guys like the video. Until next time, I catch you guys on the next product that I have coming in to do a review one. Okay? So you guys have a good, great day out there. Stay vaping strong and um, keep on going and look for more to new products and new technology and events and vaping products and see what's out there. What's, who's cool and invent something good next, all right? Until next time, catch you guys later and stay safe out there. Later.